a blessed morning one and all this is your apostle elijah peter chambers once more with a pounding word hallelujah glory be to god a harsh one and also an intriguing one we want to thank god for this day that he has provided and praise god on a continual basis he has delivered and set free our theme our topic this morning my story put behind bars for speaking thus say the lord it's my testimony and this is our series 50, 55 and our theme born hallelujah to win glory be to god a winner never stop winning praise god at all costs look at what they did they make me famous hallelujah the more they ostracize the more they undermine the more they discriminate peter chambers it is the more i have been given favor a rasta man saw me in a particular community and he said pastor i must honor you you deserve to be honored don't follow those who are dishonoring you they don't know the importance of a gift that has been given to, to, to one some of us we don't know how to deal with gifts we abuse it hallelujah but there are some of us who knows how to appreciate gifts first john 3 8 declares he that committed sin is of the devil for the devil sin it from the beginning for this purpose a son of god was made manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil hallelujah whosoever is born of god doth not commit sin for his seed remaineth in him and he cannot sin because he is born of god hallelujah in this the children of god are manifested and the children of the devil whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of god neither he that loveth not his brother hallelujah as i think on the act of god when i was placed behind bars hallelujah for speaking thus say the lord that very morning when the jcf and the jdf came for me my fasting and prayer life kicked in hallelujah i want to declare to some of us if you don't know how to pray when to pray how to pray before you step into a storm or trouble you're gonna lose the battle but my prayer life my life is prayer and fasting the greatest weapon the church has is prayer and fasting which was neglected by the church in jamaica while apostle peter chambers was in prison the church went into prayer and fasting hallelujah and there are some of us who say that you can pray for yourself you're a liar because there comes a time where especially when you're in deep trouble you can't really pray per se if you are not if you are not the person who have a constant prayer life that's the season that's the time that you need somebody to pray for you so hypocrites who say you can't pray for yourself you're a fool when you start have heart attack you need somebody to pray for you when you are when your kidney is shutting down when you become weak when the gunman is at your head you need somebody to pray for you hallelujah immediately as the news broke that the controversial pastor peter chambers was locked up the remnant went into prayer and fasting in jamaica and abroad not all was bashing me with the false preaching and the hypocrites saying that i should rotten in prison can you imagine an innocent man you want to rotten in prison if the church in jamaica knew the power they had they would never succumb to the trap of the devil. Satan knew the so-called church was afraid of the coronavirus. 
and use this as a tool to weaken the power of the church. Hallelujah. Did we stand on our faith or did we trust the signs? That's a question. Hallelujah. To the point you hear faithless Christians say they prayed and asked God, ask the Lord if they should take the white lady. And some came out, said the Lord, spoke to them. If evil men created the white lady who don't believe in Jesus Christ, then the question is, who is that really spoke to you? It is the devil or the spirit of God. The Bible gave us one principle. It is faith. The so-called church put their trust in evil men and not God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. The Bible said, put not your trust in man. Put not your trust in the politician, in the leaders of this country. Put not your trust, not even in your pastor. Hallelujah. But put your trust in God. The policemen and women stopped in Monique, saying time to have breakfast. And I was offered breakfast and I responded to them. I'm on fasting and prayer. I made it up in my mind. I will not stop praying until they release me. Hallelujah. Until the manifestation of the power of God demonstrated in my life. Hallelujah. One policeman said, Pastor, you need to eat because rough times are ahead of you. I replied to the police, will, I will not break my fast until 6 p.m. just to eat something to gain, to stay alive. The principle of fasting is a great weapon God gave to the body of Christ. Can you imagine if the church had stood on the principle of fasting and prayer? The leader of this country would have not manipulated the church, but the church bow to the evil schemes of the devil. Hallelujah. The principle of fasting is a great weapon God gave to the church. I was left in the car with two other policemen while I prayed in the heavenly language. One of the police whom seemed troubled from they came for me at my home declared I can't drive with this pastor. He is praying in a language I am new to. While the backslider, the soldier, replied my grandmother who was a prayer warrior prayed in this language. Whenever she prayed like this, we were safe. Hallelujah. Do you know the power of the heavenly language? Do you know the power, hallelujah, of the Holy Ghost? Speaking in tongues as the Lord gives you utterance. Hallelujah. Angels surrounded the car that they drove me in. Regardless of all the evil, Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Immediately. Immediately as the new news. Broke. Hallelujah. Everyone recognized. Hallelujah. Something went wrong. But the church. I want the churches in Jamaica. To recognize who you are, what you are, the power that lies within you. The Lord asked me to ask you the question this morning. Why did you give over your power to the evil ones? Why did you give over your faith, hallelujah, to the evil ones? And this is the root cause why the church in Jamaica is suffering. This was the ultimate time for the church to rise in its power. I have given you power to cast out devils, to land upon the sick, to raise the dead, to set the oppressed free. Free, hallelujah. While I prayed in the language, hallelujah, as they carried me, 
hallelujah to kingston hallelujah on the back road i need somebody need to understand i was driven in the back road but prayer kept on hallelujah nothing they could do the order was given for my death hallelujah but they could not destroy the man of god because god says not this one you can't touch this one this is the apple of my eye for you to touch one of my children it's better you take a rope and a milestone and throw yourself in the atomous part of the sea i want to preach to someone this morning at the name of Jesus Christ every knee must bow every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord there is no other name given among men whereby we must be saved at the name of Jesus every knee will bow every tongue hallelujah will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord the Bible said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man. But the end thereof is death. Hallelujah. He came unto his own and his own receive him not. And I want to declare to every one of you who use Kevin Simit swagger to determine your relationship with God. If you declared that because of what took 